that thing that I've been looking for Been running around for so long Now I got you, I won't let you go You got that thing that I've been looking for You got a heart full of gold And that's really turning me on You are, you are What's up guys? It is Monday, August 21st, 2017. Um, some people are excited today about the quote unquote great American solar eclipse. I'm here in Cancun, Mexico, so it's gonna be a partial eclipse down here and really I don't, I mean, it's cool, but I'm not like freaking out about it like a lot of people back home are. What I am excited about today is that it is the first day of my cut. My cut was supposed to start last week because of some technical and emotional difficulties. It did not start, so I'm starting, well actually I weighed in yesterday, got my new macros, and I'm trying to cut pretty aggressively because I have my friend's wedding in October. And so today is the first day back in the gym. I'm super excited about that. I do have to teach some English first uh, before I head over to the gym. But yeah, that's what's happening today. And I'm also gonna try and film for you guys a little what's in my bag segment, what's in my gym bag segment. So look out for that later in this video and I'm excited to get this day started. What's up guys? So I just got to the gym and it's so hot. Like just walking over here works up a sweat. Like I don't know if you guys can see but I'm like listening. And I wiped my face off with a towel before I started filming. So anyways, I have uh, my first workout from this new program I'm doing by Brett Contreras the uh, booty guy, you might have heard of him. So yeah, so my workouts are going to be uh, lower body focused. And yeah, so I'm just getting myself set up. I'm gonna take my pre-workout and get to work. So we should be sexual. Just say you feel the way that I feel. I'm feeling sexual. So we should be sexual. deadlifts down in this space it's like um, kind of set up for CrossFit so I have CrossFit stuff over here and there's like a deadlift platform but I wanted to show you guys what happened while I was putting the weights on the bar like my acrylic nail fell off can you guys see it? see it on the ground there oh my god the struggle is real Making my life much cleaner. Yeah, yeah. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. Everything that I dreamed of. Now we can paint a picture. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. Making my life much cleaner. Yeah, yeah. To say you feel the way that I feel. I'm feeling sexual, so we should be sexual. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday, August 22nd, yesterday was the 21st, and it is not looking really nice outside, it's been raining all night. This is what the view from my apartment currently looks like. It has legit not stopped raining since last night around, I don't know, like 10 or 11 o'clock, and even better I believe it's supposed to rain all day today so that's great um, so right now I have a Skype chat scheduled with my husband 
my husband is in Kenya for those of you who are not aware which is most of you I will at some point make a video why I moved to Mexico and talk about that and my husband and everything and he will be in these vlogs eventually but for now he is in Kenya and we have a Skype chat scheduled in like five minutes so I'm about to do that and then um, I have to teach some English I'm gonna go to the gym today is cardio only which is exciting because I haven't done hit in like four months dude which is a long time for me like no cardio whatsoever while I was doing my reverse diet I did zero cardio so <laughs> I'm excited to go get this HIT workout in. Um, I'm probably gonna have to call an Uber because one thing you might not know about Mexico, or I don't know if it's all of Mexico, but specifically Cancun, the infrastructure is not very good here. So when it rains, like it is right now, there are literally puddles everywhere. I'm not talking about baby puddles. I'm talking about huge, gigantic, you will like be up to your knees in water puddles, okay? So yesterday, when it, st it started raining while I was walking back from the gym, and I got my shoes messed up, like they're over there drying right now. So today I'll probably have to take an Uber because I do want to go to the gym. Um, I want to keep the, the momentum going, you know what I'm saying? So I have to go do that. And then after that, I have an interview for a job that I'm hoping that I get because I need a job. I mean, I teach English, but I need another job um, to keep my residency here, which is a whole other story that I will get into at a later time. But yeah, so right now I have Skype with my husband, then teach English, cardio, interview, and edit. Oh my god, I forgot for a half second that I'm going to record what's in my gym bag. So that's coming up too. So don't leave the vlog. There's there's a segment coming so you can see what is in my gym bag. Alright, I better get going though because my husband will not be happy if I'm late. <laughs> Don't you know me? So this is my husband, everyone. Say hello to the YouTubes. Say hi! You're on film! Hi. Oh my god, Hi. you're being so awkward. So anyways, can you please turn around and show them what you just showed me? Look at what my husband has done to his head. What the hell is that? What is that? Oh my god, I'm so mad right now. He has a fucking ponytail, people. I think you've lost it. Have you? Are you still together over there? <laughs> Babe, seriously? You don't have anything to say for yourself? Hi. That's it? Hi? <laughs> so I just got to the gym for cardio today and I still cannot get over like how hot it is. Even when it's raining, it's freaking hot. This is ridiculous. But I can't complain because it's much better than being cold, which is what I was constantly hit when I was living in Boston. So here for cardio, gonna bust it out and then go back home and get ready for my interview later. Shape. but it'll get better <laughs> so that's the good news um i can't stop sweating i've been like wiping myself down for 10 minutes still sweating but now i'm gonna go home and eat something i take a shower i feel much better Hi guys so i just got back from my interview i think it went pretty well they told me that they would let me know by the end of the week so i will keep you guys up to date with that and we will see if i get the job or not but as promised, I do have a little what's in my gym bag segment that I want to do right now. So let's get into it. So first off, this is my gym bag. I just got this actually um, while I was in the States last, which was only a couple of weeks ago. I got it at Frugal Fannies. I'm not sure if you guys have Frugal Fannies where you live, but that's where I got mine. And actually, I just noticed it's a Puma uh, gym bag. It was only like $15, which I was like, uh, yes, please. But I just noticed that, I don't know if you guys can see, this is starting to peel. Like, I've literally used this bag twice and the lettering is starting to peel, so maybe that's why it was $15. But regardless, even if all the lettering comes off, I love the colors, I love everything that's bright, so um, I don't really mind. It works for me, even if uh, it doesn't say Puma in bright pink on the back. 
So anyways, let's open it up. There are just like two compartments. There's this one main compartment and there's also a side pocket. So it works for me and then inside there's a little tiny pocket which I keep like lip gloss and, and girly things. Okay, so let's start off. The first thing I have in here is this uh, bear, what do they call this? It's for your barbell. <laughs> so I probably should have looked up the name of what this is called before I started this. But anyways, it's the thing that you put around the barbell for when you're either squatting or uh, doing hip thrust. Personally, I don't like to use this when I am squatting. I like to use it uh, when I do hip thrust and uh, glute bridges. So when I squat, I like to feel the barbell directly on my back so I don't use this. Plus this is really, really thick. Like, you guys can see this is really thick. So for me personally, I wouldn't be able to squat with this on my back, but it can be used for that. I personally just use it for hip thrusts and uh, glute bridges. So that's number one. And of course, I'm gonna put links to everything in my uh, description box, but most of the stuff that I have, I got from Amazon. So, so that's number one. And then next up I have these gloves, these little workout gloves. Um, I get these from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and I believe the brand name is Layer 8. Um, and these are just basic workout gloves. There's nothing too fancy about them. They're not very thick. And actually, um, this is the second pair that I've gone through. The first pair, I wore them out like I had them for like couple years at least. So I just got these ones again on my last trip. Actually, I got these ones when I was in Miami. So that was uh, like in July. July 1st was when I was in Miami. So, so these are some workout gloves I have. Um, I use these when, whenever I'm not using my uh, wrist straps, which I will show you in a second, um, or my grips. So I have these, which are Versa grips. So these I use to deadlift, and if I'm lifting a dumbbell that's really heavy that I want some assistance with, my grip is not very strong, I'm not gonna lie you guys, because I've been using Versa grips for a while. So I have like no grip strength. So I need these when I deadlift heavy, um, and also my gym doesn't have any chalk, and I'm never going to be a power lifter or competing in powerlifting competitions, so for me, grip strength isn't that important. So I'd rather use these uh, than not. So these are Versa grips. Like I said, I'll put the link for everything um, in the description box, but I've had these for at least a year, if not longer, and I love them. All right, and so that's what I use for my hands. So either I have the gloves on, or when I'm deadlifting, or like have really heavy dumbbells, then I'll use the Versa grips. Um, next up, I have, this is my heart rate monitor strap. So I always wear a heart rate monitor when I work out. And this is my polar watch that goes with it. So this goes around your your like lower chest area. And then there's a plastic piece that like clips onto here. And that's what transmits the signal. So I always wear this to keep track of my heart rate, especially during hit, because I like to keep my heart rate up. And what else, what else? So this I just got from Amazon. These are ankle straps. So uh, as you saw earlier in the video, I'm doing Brett Contreras' gluteal goddess program. And so it's all pretty much lower body uh, focused. And I wanted to have my own ankle straps because I wasn't sure how, how reliable the ones at the gym are because as some of you I'm sure are aware, sometimes you'll put the ankle strap on and then you'll be going to work and then like midway through, it snaps off. So this is super strong and it's not gonna snap off. And it's bright pink, which like I said, I love bright colors. So, so yeah, so I have two of these um, and I got them from Amazon and they came with this cute little baggie. So I'll put them in there and that's that. Um, and then I also have, in here, I have, what are these called? Um, bands, I have bands. So these I also got from Amazon. The brand name is Fit Simplify. Um, and it says you can go to the website, but like I said, I got these from Amazon. And uh, there are five 
five different levels or strengths. So it's extra light, light, medium, heavy, and extra heavy. So as you saw earlier in the video, I used these to, um, to warm up and to activate my glutes. And also uh, during hip thrusts, you can put them around your knees, you can do like hip adduction and abduction, and you can do all kinds of stuff with bands. So I got these, and then also if you're traveling, these are good to have too, because you can use them to work out and stuff. Um, they came with a little uh, like pamphlet thing that gives you some exercises that you can do with them um, for anyone who's into that or interested in that. Um, and as I mentioned, I got them from Amazon and they were pretty cheap. Um, I wouldn't say that they're like the best straps. Like they are, they do what they do, you know what I'm saying? Um, if I had to do it all over again, I might like pay more attention and get a different, different set. But they work for me. They do what they're supposed to. I think I just like the um, the straps that are like longer and thinner. Like they're a different type of material, I think. So, but yeah. So these are good. And I, like I said, I use them to activate my glutes and to warm up and stretch out and whatnot. Okay, what else is in here? And then I have this. These are my Beats by Dre. I have wireless Beats. Um, they are awesome. I love them. Actually, this is my second set. The first set my brother, my little brother, got for me uh, for either my birthday or Christmas. And I messed up and I, I almost cursed. Um, I messed up and I broke them. I think I like didn't put them in the case and I just threw them in the bag and then they broke. So I ended up getting a second pair, but I still consider them a gift for my brother because I shouldn't have messed up the first pair. Um, and you just charge them. I love them. They make working out super easy. Like earlier in the uh, this video, I wasn't using these because I forgot to charge them and my workout, like it was so aggravating having freaking cords in the way and stuff. So I love these. Oh, what else is in here? Okay, I have, um, this is a jump rope. I don't even remember where I got this. It's just a generic like plastic jump rope, but this is great for warming up. It's great for keeping your heart rate up when you are like in between exercises, like sometimes you want to keep your heart rate going um, in between lifting. So you can do some jump ropes and when you're supposed to be resting or whatever. Um, yeah, and this is just good cardio. So I keep this in my bag in case I feel like jumping some rope that day. Um, all right, this next thing is, um, is like awesome, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, I've gained so much weight that it doesn't fit me right now. So this is my insert lever belt. Lever, you see, lever, okay. So I got this and it's amazing. It like, the core, like it just braces you. So you can lift heavy, you can squat heavy. This is like the best thing. And this material is freaking like, it is so strong. But as I mentioned, I've gained weight and right now it's not fitting me, which is like a total bummer because I love wearing this when I lift. So first goal, like mini goal, is to be able to fit back into my insert belt. And you have to, when you purchase it, you have to put it together. I'm not gonna lie, I had to look up some YouTube videos to help me. <laughs> Even though it came with instructions, I'm not, I wasn't good with that. So you do have to uh, have like a screwdriver and like put the hardware in and everything. But once you figure it out, girl, this thing is awesome. So I can't wait until I lose some more weight and I can fit back into this. I have my PE Science. Alphamine in here, which is a uh, pre-workout. Well, they call it an energy drink, um, and it's a thermogenic, and this is great. I've been using it the last couple of days, and, and I feel like the Energizer Bunny, so this is a strawberry pina colada flavor, and I actually, when I take my pre-workout, I don't like drinking a lot of, like, I drink water, but I don't want to drink my pre-workout. So I usually just take the scoop and like take it to the face. So, so that's what I do with the alchemy. And then last but not least, 
I have a journal, so I keep this in my bag um, to write down how I feel after my workouts. So uh, after each workout, I will put in an entry and you know talk about how I felt during after the workout. Um, talk about anything that might have affected my workout, like was it a fasted workout or um, am I feeling sick or whatever it is, just so I can keep track and be able to look back and also, um, you know, see how I was doing. So that's the last thing that is in my gym bag. Um, as I mentioned, there's a little pouch in here with some girly things, but y'all don't need to see all that, but just think of the, the basics, you know, lip gloss, and lady things. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's what's in my bag. I hope that this was uh, informative and useful. As I mentioned, I will put all the links for everything that you can buy online in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. I really, really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Stop.